What's going on YouTube? This is Brandon Epstein and I'm back here again with another episode to help you optimize your mindset. You may or may not know this, but in California, marijuana has been recreationally legalized. And so today I thought it'd be interesting to dig in and really find out what effects does marijuana have on the brain? Are there positive effects? Are there negative effects? We're going to find this all out today. And we actually have come to the Peak Brain Institute and we're going to sit down with Dr. Andrew Hill, who's a cognitive neuroscientist over at UCLA and he's gonna take me through some tests before consuming any marijuana to see how my brain performs and then we're gonna do some we're gonna add some marijuana to my system we're gonna see how I do with those tests afterwards and find out what the results are here we go All right, so today you and I are gonna explore the effects of marijuana on the brain that's right so we're gonna do a brain map a quantitative EEG and also an attention assessment to see how your sustained attention and your impulsivity work first clean without anything in your system and we'll see if there's any attention difficulty or stress or things like that showing up. And then we'll uh, have you take some cannabis and we'll see what your brain looks like afterwards. And we expect to see certain brain waves change and also some behavioral performance will change probably. So, all right, beautiful. Happens. So right now I'm gonna start with the attention test. That's right, test. which is kind of boring, but that's the point, to help you make lots of silly mistakes and then we'll see how you feel. Okay, great, let's get into it. Wonderful. All right, so look straight ahead, and we're gonna stretch a cap over your head. All right, so we have uh, a cap on. Feels pretty good, probably. And these are different locations on your scalp that the database of comparison will have lots of recordings on. So we're gonna measure resting baseline activity at all these locations, 21 locations. Before we do, we have to put some gel in to measure your brain. So this is a blunt needle, doesn't hurt. It's important to know that the brain mapping is not a diagnostic tool, it's more of a hypothesis generator or a prognostic tool where we'll see patterns that are often meaningful at a population level, but they may not be for you. So I'll see patterns that could mean different types of anxiety or tension difficulty or something else, but we'll have to evaluate if that seems real for you before we actually believe the data. So I just used the cannabis and uh, now I'm gonna go back for the second round of testing. Let me tell you, I haven't consumed any marijuana for five days. The um, effects are very strong right now, so I'm interested to see how the attention is. I'm pretty sure the attention is going to be awful, um, but we'll see how the EEG shows up and what it says about how my brain performs. Let's check it out. All right, so uh, we just got the test results here. We and did. And Dr. Hill is going to uh, share what, what we found. So we did two things with you, of course. One was an attention test, looking at your ability to sustain your focus and also to respond appropriately, but not impulsively. And then we also measured your resting brain activity, looking at brain waves called delta, theta, alpha, and beta. Um, in the attention performance scores, which are behind you there on the screen, we found you actually got less impulsive with cannabis in your system. Uh, people think of people on cannabis as being a little silly and reactive, but that's actually not true for you. Uh, with cannabis present, you showed not much impulsivity. In the absence of cannabis, you look kind of ADHD. We also saw a slight deficit or a drop in your sustained attention performance visually. You much more visually sort of like pulled, pulled by information. And you had about a three standard deviation drop in your visual attention uh, across time. So you're better at noticing things, better at not overreacting, but less good at staying on to boring things, mm. which probably makes sense. You know, we find things more interesting when we're uh, on cannabis. The cannabis sped up your brain by about 100 milliseconds, so you're actually a little bit sharper with the cannabis in your system, a little faster. And um, there was some hint of a brain injury initially for you, probably some sports wear and tear stuff, not a big deal. 
and the database said the likelihood of an injury was 65%, which is very weak for this database, so it probably is like a really old, mild wear and tear event. Mm. And with the cannabis in your system, that likelihood of injury actually jumped to 90, suggesting that all the delta waves that came up when you were uh, had cannabis in your system tripped the injury statistic. Doesn't mean you actually got an injury, but it means that you're a little foggier, and so the injury markers were a little more strong. <clears throat> The last thing is it looks like we got a little bit of a change in uh, relative power of delta compared to high beta. So this would suggest you ha would have the ability to not be as stressed, to not get stuck in a buzzy, busy mode. Mm -hmm. With the ability to sort of balance that against slower brain waves, you probably can like downshift into a slower, more chill environment more voluntarily with cannabis in your system versus without. And so uh, in summary, you're a little more sleepy and foggy, but a little bit less reactive and impulsive with cannabis in your system. Some attention scores got actually significantly better, impulsivity, and some got a little bit worse, sustained attention. Mm -hmm. So a mix of features, basically. Mix of yeah, yeah. But I feel like, you know, in, in life and in trying to perform, like, you, you supplement yourself in time when you need it. So that's, that's I think right. the biggest thing about marijuana is like, maybe you don't use it every day when you wake up like coffee, but once or twice a week, mm -hmm. just to kind of, Shift your state of consciousness, slow down a little bit, think about your life in a different way, it can be super beneficial. It is, and one really important thing that's coming out of this is your brain is not that different with cannabis and without cannabis. It's a little different. You know, I'm seeing half to one standard deviation difference in change, but I could produce more change in a couple of months of brain training just by working you out. So it's, 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 a, it's a subtle change. It's showing up all over your brain here and there, but it's not this like dramatic shift. Like your brain does not look super sleepy, stoned, anxious, none of the anxiety markers, none of the dramatic impulsivity markers, nothing actually came up in a way we might have guessed based on the popular conception of cannabis as being making you silly and yeah, none of that shows up. Zero anxiety markers to start with, still have zero. Impulsivity actually went down for you for cannabis. We just finished up from the Peak Brain Institute. Obviously you heard what Dr. Hill said about my brain. And so what I really got out of this experience was that Marijuana is something that could be definitely beneficial for me in small doses, but it's not something I need to consume every day because it makes me move slow. So really what I want to do and how I want to optimize my routine is throughout the week, I want to go as fast as I can and on the weekends, I want to slow down and I want to recover. So knowing that means I probably should cut back my marijuana use a little bit, five days a week, none of that for the most part. And then, you know, on the weekends, one or two times, use it to slow down get some, some deeper perspective and be able to think about my problems in a different way. This is very interesting. Um, I may go back and work with these guys in the future and try to see how I can optimize my brain. I don't know if it's gonna be right now, but very interesting stuff. And if you guys wanna learn more about this yourself, definitely check them out. We linked up all their information in the description below. And you guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. Appreciate it so much. If this was cool, this was was helpful please share it with someone anywhere on the social medias and uh, I'll see you in the next episode keep stacking them bricks